It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Jets, next on Madden Football. It's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. And meanwhile, for the Eagles, the big question, how would they improve their squad in 2023 and make another run at a Super Bowl title? Well, they took a few hits in free agency, but by most accounts, really hit a home run during April's draft. You were there. What did you make of it? It was almost a night beyond their wildest dreams. Perhaps the best player in the draft somehow fell to nine where the Eagles traded up to get him. And a terrific pass rusher they got at 30. Wonderful draft, extra pieces for a Super Bowl contender. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback, but last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players, thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 23. Play action, here's Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 83 yards. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down, run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. 
ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six, just inside the 30. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. Wilson to Wilson there. Is that to Garrett for a jet first down? We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 43, here's a second and five. They run the counter with Cook. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now Wilson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. What's the deal? Second and 10. Now Wilson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Wilson now off the bootleg. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's brought down right at the five yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Yes, Up the middle, it's Cook. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard laying himself out in the end zone. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. 
Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost them there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They go with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift, and this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Nice run and some new digs for Swift, the biggest name to be dealt during this year's draft. Had some tough times in three years with the Lions, but the good news for him, he's now in Philadelphia and knows exactly how to get the most out of a versatile runner. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Over to Melvin Smith. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and 10, it's Swift. Able to avoid him at the 40. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down, here's Hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Jets 
are going to get the football back. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punt the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. On first down, Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Here's a second and eight. Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. So the completion good for just three. And it brings up third and five now. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down and eight. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. Man up the left side is Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. 
This short throw caught by Goddard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Hurts to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. They go play action with Hurts. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Hurts. Chased out left. Oh, clock running as he's brought down, but now you can't spike it. It's fourth down. Just a gain of a yard in what all likelihood will be the final play of the first half. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought Coach. this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Now the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us certainly am I'm with you on that one and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level they love to spin it to their teams hey we're starting a brand new shorter ball game it's all even let's go out and seize it this is ours and they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard just a yard to the 22 and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now second and nine. They go play action now. Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he'll have it past midfield almost. 
close to the 40 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Cook up the gut, and forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside, but he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. On second down, here's Wilson. That is incomplete. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Wilson. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Now Wilson. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 23. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing his hurts. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Let's take it inside his own 40. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Oh 
Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 44. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And across the midfield, strike into Eagle territory. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 48-yard line, here's second and two. Here's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a give running right, it's Cook. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing the out route well incomplete. That's Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in by Rucker. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Here's Wilson. Over the middle, complete. That's Cook. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Zerline's kick is up and through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. game. 
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start on the ground with Swift, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The former third overall pick, Quinn Williams there to bring him down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? You always talk about no man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Jets will take over. The New York set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 10. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Again, it's Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. take a knee here. On second down, Cook. Protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because 
We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. I and mean, how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Phil Duffy picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game. But, hey, they got enough points to get the job done. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you have planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win. And in this type of a game, to play their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.